growing up, I moved several times and it was never easy and starting a new school and being the new kid was always hard. But I think that you kind of got to remember that you're probably the most exciting thing to happen to the school in a really long time. So like, enjoy your moment in the sun. Let other kids come to you. Let them decide who's going to be your friend. But also like, don't be scared to talk to new people and reach out to them and you know, take your time getting comfortable, but also take this as a great opportunity to meet new people. Getting picked on at school is never easy. I know it's really hard to remember this, but a bully is probably picking on you because they've got some issues all their own. That being said, it's still really hard and you still have to deal with it. So obviously you should go to the adults in your life and let them know what's going on. But also if you feel comfortable talking to your bully, you can call them out and ask them why they're bullying you and tell them that it makes you feel really uncomfortable and it makes you feel like they are singling you out for no reason. Sometimes this will work and sometimes it won't. But at the end of the day, you should always involve an adult in your life. I think it's really easy to forget that crushes are just regular people and you have a crush on them because they think you think they're fantastic and special in some way. It's also important to remember there's probably someone out there that thinks you're fantastic and special in some way. So just treat them like you would any friend. I think it's really important to get to know your crushes as friends first. And then if that develops into something more, great. But I think it's okay to just kind of slow it all down and just remember they're normal people and they probably share a lot of the same interests that you do. I think it's never easy to watch relationships in your life change, especially when it's one of the most important relationships in your life, which is the relationship that your parents share. I think it's really important to remember that if your parents are getting a divorce, they're not getting a divorce because of you. It can feel like it because it's all happening around you and it always concerns you, but it's not because of you. So I think if you can remember to separate those emotions from the fact that you're having to readjust to a new life with your parents living in different houses and learning how to live with both of them separately, I think that's the best thing that you can do. I think it's really hard when our friends around us are changing and becoming different people. This happened to me countless times with lots of friends. I know that's probably not like very heartening to hear, but also know that this is totally normal. Sometimes you'll find that you don't have the same things in common with people that you did when you first met when you were a lot younger. And sometimes it's hard to relate on those same things. And sometimes people are just really concerned with looking popular or hanging out with other kids who look like they might be popular. And I can tell you that that fades pretty quickly because you find out really fast that there's not a whole lot of substance when you're just trying to start relationships with people because they're popular. I would say hold tight and see what happens. Be patient, but also don't be afraid to go talk to that person and ask them what's changed and is there something that I've done wrong? And if not, can we talk about why things have changed and maybe try to fix them and patch things up? So I think the first thing to remember is that if your little sibling is copying you, it's because they admire you. Even if they're trying to be annoying, it's really because they look up to you and I think you're probably like the coolest person ever, which I'm sure you are. So I think that I would just try to be a little bit patient with them, but also you can tell them like, this is annoying me. I can't promise they're gonna stop because little siblings like really like to annoy you. I'm sorry, I don't, I am a little sibling. So it's hard for me to answer this question because I feel like, don't you get it? I think you're cool, but you know, it's gonna stop eventually, I promise, I promise. I don't know when, but it's gonna stop. <laughs>